So for Hegel, we have looked at it before, yeah, our discussion of Hegel, but for Hegel, um, <clears throat> the infinite um, can, re can retain uh, its infinity only if it <laughs> absorbs the finite as uh, its internal moment or internal differentiation. So finite is just a self-expression self of the infinite. But obviously you would have to come up with a different conception of infinity. The infinity is not just unlimited, it's just all there is, really. So the difference is that for traditional uh, cosmological argument, the relationship between finite and infinite is external. So there are two different things standing in opposition to each other. Like for example, here, I am here and there's a chair here. So we have external. On the other hand, for Hegel, the relationship between finite, Hegel and Iqbal, I guess, the relationship between finite and infinite is internal. So it's like, you know, if you want to think, think about it organically, it's the relationship between myself and my hand. Or if you want to take an inorganic example, chair and its color, for example. So this, this is internal relationship for Hegel and Iqbal, the relationship between finite and infinite is an internal relationship, not an external relationship. So then you don't have that argument, um, that um, objection which we have against cosmology, the conception of finite and infinite as negation of each other. So now you have finite, but finite is just when we look at infinite uh, from a certain perspective of, or uh, in isolation from its context. So that's sort of abstraction, not a reality. Um, for Iqbal, on the other hand, uh, for Hegel at least, on the other hand, finite and infinite are um, internally related and true infinite is not infinite because it has no end and it goes on and on but because it contains finitude or finite within itself at its moment <clears throat> like my hand contains my, uh, myself contain my hand uh, and thus is not limited or restricted by anything outside outside itself. There's no outside. The so infinite for um, Hegel is a closed system. There's nothing outside it. That's why it is infinite, not because it has no limits. <coughs> anyway, we'll stop here and uh, next time, hopefully, we will do teleological argument.